It's the advice no expectant mum wants to hear. Dawn was told she should terminate her pregnancy when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. But she refused and at the start of last month, little Alex was born seven weeks premature. Look at him, I mean he's gorgeous, he's, he's thriving on it as well, he's doing so well. He's put on 19 ounces in the last two weeks, so you know, we've got to be doing something right. And um, yeah, I just, I just want the absolute best for him. Dawn went through two bouts of chemotherapy during her pregnancy. She even had a mastectomy. Chemotherapy makes you very tired. It can make you very sick. Obviously, when you're pregnant, you're very tired and very sick anyway. So I suppose it was kind of double um, of those. But um, yeah, it's been a roller coaster as far as health and as far as emotion. Um, it's it's been hard. It's been really hard. She's endured a difficult year battling cancer during her pregnancy, but now Dawn has started a new fight. She's unable to breastfeed, so is fighting to get donated breast milk to give Alex the best possible start in life. Um, the healthcare trust has actually turned around and told us that no, they won't provide that any longer. Um, although now that we're appealing, they are still providing it until that appeal has gone through. Um, so that is really what we want, is, that, is for them to turn around and say, yes, we will provide it until you've finished um, your chemotherapy. Dawn and baby Alex are now being treated at Tameside Hospital. It's the local primary care trust there that makes a final decision on whether to keep providing the donated milk. They've already asked for advice from specialists at Stepping Hill Hospital, where Alex was born. Bosses here at Stepping Hill say guidelines don't recommend using donated breast milk for babies beyond 29 weeks gestation. Because Alex was born at 32 weeks, they say there's no clinical reason to keep providing it. The family's now appealing that decision. Tameside Primary Care Trust now tell us they've asked for a second opinion. In a statement, they say the baby has now been transferred to another paediatrician and NHS Tameside and Glossop has requested a clinical report outlining the need for this baby to continue on donor breast milk. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.